the time has come. We now live in an era of unprecedented change, uh, partly due to technological uh, development, but also due to the economic crisis that we are living through. And if there was ever a moment to embrace change and modernization, it really is now. European governments have no alternative but to engage seriously in a reform process of the public services, especially in the light of the financial pressures. We need to have the courage to change, to be more successful for the next generation. This is the only uh, worth things doing on that planet, preparing the future for people coming after us. I think it really lands on driving innovation and in everything that you're doing. And so I think the discussion today is really about developing the big breakthrough ideas on how to change the way government does business today to be able to serve citizens. We should exper exchange experiences, learn from others, not just learn from the successes, but also from the failures we all make and try not to uh, replicate uh, things that uh, needn't be uh, uh, done in that way, so we can learn from each other. We have to think about the future and we have to have much more fast strategies in our countries than before. The world is changing so rapidly and, and we, we can't think like we have thinking many many years before. to train uh, young postgraduates in uh, mechanisms and ideas on good governance. And obviously the reform of uh, public services, which is a major political issue in all EU member states and beyond the EU actually, is of course such a question on how to provide good governance, better governance, which is particularly challenging in the current financial climate. In the wake of the uncertainty that Europe is facing, we are actually demonstrating effectively that growth is is possible. And they focused on four things, the, uh, the silver economy, encouraging older people to work more, the, the green economy, encouraging us to better use resources and encourage growth that way, dealing better with high technology and then finally taking advantage of the rapid growth in emerging markets that we're all familiar with. The Government of the Future Centre was founded in uh, 2009 by three organisations, um, Accenture, the College of Europe and the Lisbon Council uh, to become a leading uh, think tank on state transformation and it's also very much conceived as a network uh, of practitioners. We feel very strongly that we don't only need to look at uh, the issues of state transformation from a theoretical point of view but really look at the people who do state transformation and who do innovation in government. The government of the future is organized to facilitate and catalyze the transformation of states and governments and public service around Europe. It is a sort of way of connecting all the civil servants at very high level across Europe so that they know what's happening in their other countries and they can take the best out of that, best practices in the different domains of the public service. About 22% will leave uh, our administration within five years from now. We also have an, an, a, a population which is growing older and still demands are increasing onto our administration and there are the budgetary cuts you have in every European uh, country. So this means that we have to be lean and efficient and that's why we are turning to a new approach in our service delivery model. The changes that we're going to do now, they give us a great opportunity. If done well, we can make things better. If handled badly, I'm sure we'll make some short-term improvements, but we'll miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime in making some really profound and fundamental changes in which the way we deliver government services.